Hi friends, this is Mallikarjuna, lecturer in physics, Government Polytechnic, Kalyandurg. Now, I am going to discuss about energy and its forms. So, what is meant by energy? Energy is nothing but it is a capacity to do work. That means, whatever you want to do work, it is needed some energy. For example, I want to lift this body here to here. It is not possible to simply say just uh, pick up. It is not possible. I have to apply some energy to lift it like this. This is energy. That means capacity to do work. Now forms of energy. There are different forms of energy. Some of them are light energy, sound energy, electrical energy, electromagnetic energy. So, so many forms are there. So, among this, I want to discuss two forms that is potential energy and kinetic energy. Now, what is potential energy? Potential energy is the energy acquired by a body by virtue of or its state or its configuration is called potential energy. How potential energy is acquired by a body? Let me consider example. This is a body has some mass. So, if you want to bring this body at a some height, I want to apply some energy here. I have to apply some force like this. So, whatever energy I applied in this, this is against to the gravitational force. That energy which is applied by me stored in this body has a potential energy. How can I prove this? It has potential energy means. So, let me consider it is I have some pain, but whenever I bring this body some height like this, I have more pain compared to previous one. That means, due to its configuration or due to its state, it has energy that is potential energy. So, some forms of potential energy that is, that is chemical energy, nuclear energy and elastic energy, gravitational potential energy. Chemical energy, chemical potential energy, it is the one form of potential energy which is stored in bonds of atoms. Whenever we break the break down that bonds, that energy is released. So that is chemical energy and nuclear energy. You know nuclear reactions. Whenever two atoms are split into many atoms and forms a new atom, that is nuclear fission. And whenever many atoms are combined to each other and forms a new atom, in that also some energy is released that energies are called nuclear energies and gravitational energy whatever we discussed before example that is a gravitational potential energy that means whenever we apply the energy again as to the gravitational force it is stored some energy that is a gravitational potential energy and elastic energy so let us consider an example whenever spring let me consider a spring whenever stretch that spring or rubber band whenever stretch that rubber band so some force is stored inside that energy against our applying force that is the compressed energy that means it is called elastic energy this is the uh, different forms of potential energy now i want to going to discuss another uh, type of energy that is kinetic energy kinetic energy what is meant by kinetic energy kinetic energy is it is a the energy acquired by a body by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy so there are some uh, five uh, five forms of kinetic energy five forms of kinetic energy what are they means so object in motion and thermal heat energy and light energy that means electrical energy and uh, electromagnetic energy body body of motion so let me consider one example there are uh, basketball uh, two basketball players whenever one player is uh, uh, throwing a ball, there are two types of uh, motion of energy here. Whenever ba ball is throwing in this, so another person catch. Here, one energy is in a translational energy, that is just throwing ball. And another energy, whenever ball is in the air, it will be spin. 
that means due to that rotation also it has energy that is rotational energy so another so electromagnetic energy so electromagnetic energy it is in the form of it takes place in the form of a visible light that electromagnetic energy can be converted into chemical energy in the process of photosynthesis and thermal energy or heat energy so let me consider a ball uh, a water uh, water in a container so whenever i apply the heat the molecules inside that uh, container that means water molecules will be vibrate because of they observe the heat whatever apply by us so whenever the vibrate and bump out to each other they produce the energy that is thermal energy due to difference between the environment and system that energy can be transferred from container to environment this is the heat energy and electrical energy so due to motion of negatively charged particles electrons there is a produce that energy due to that motion that's why it is a electrical energy this is the one form of a kinetic energy so thank you so much